Hello, this is Chill Computer Guy. Today we're here in Bitwig Studio. We are going to talk about Note Expression and we're going to talk about a device called Note Mod. Now, the Note Mod is a very unique device. Anything you nest within it, including any third party VST, synth, effect, you can use Note Expressions to modulate any parameter on that particular device. You'll see here we have a quick little MIDI clip. We'll just play through this. It's just a quick little melody here. What we're going to do is we're going to, if we go to this icon here, it's going to open up our note expression. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. You can see there's velocity, which is self-explanatory. That's like normal velocity. Every DAW has velocity. You can control the velocity, the hardness of each note. Gain is just a loudness level, which again, you can control each individual note. You can pan each individual note. So the three of these actually affect the sound of the note. Now, timbre and pressure these will not affect the sound of the note but these are used to modulate using the note mod all bitwig instruments have modulators built in you know here's velocity uh, key tracking uh, that would be the uh, the timbre the uh, filter envelope generator the amp envelope generator the mod wheel and then the pressure now you can see that the pressure and timbre are these two at the bottom here. So we don't need the note mod to actually modulate Bitwig devices. However, using the note mod, anything nested within it can be modulated. In this case, we have the uh, the Dada Life uh, Sausage Fattener, a classic uh, a classic uh, saturation plug-in. It's like a $30 plug-in. This plug-in's kind of got a cult following. It just makes everything a little fatter. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and modulate the fatness parameter using the pressure. So you can see here, what I did is I, I, drew, I drew in, just, just so you didn't have to uh, sit and watch me draw this in, but I just quickly drew, drew in some variations. A uh, quick little pattern, nothing fancy. Again, you can just click on here and just kind of go crazy with it and this will not affect the sound but what this is doing is it is affecting the note mod you can see there's the key tracking the velocity the amp the pan the timbre and the pressure and just here are these note expression columns here so you can see as I play this uh, simple little melody you'll see these lights So you can see that the higher up I go here, watch the pressure, when it crosses here it's going to get very bright. See, very bright when it crosses that point. And so the brighter this light is, the more it is modulating that particular parameter. Simple, right? So let's, uh, let's modulate some stuff using note expression. Now I'm going to go ahead and like I say, I'm going to take the pressure parameter and I'm going to adjust the fatness on the uh, the SF here. Um, and I'm not going to I'm not going to give it too much because this is you know I don't want to give it too much. It's going to get get loud. Okay, so there we did. What we did is we used the pressure parameter to modulate the fatness on the SF uh, saturator. Let's go ahead and uh, play that. It's subtle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to also use the pressure to modulate uh, a couple of other things. Let's go ahead and uh, modulate the, uh, the pulse width on the sub oscillator. And how about the shape uh, and the sync? Now we're going to get some variation. Now let's play this.
go to the timbre, and we're going to actually use the timbre to affect the uh, cutoff. So what we got there is a lot of audible chaos. So I always recommend using this in moderation, just modulating it just, just slightly. When used properly, you can get so much variation. The note expression. Now the note expression is very unique to Bitwig Studio, and using the note mod, you can actually use note expressions to modulate any device. Now like I say, the Bitwig devices have built in uh, note expression modulation points but using the note mod any third party plugin or VST can be modulated using the note expression there's timbre and then there's pressure use the note mod create variation the sound design possibilities are really mind-boggling now you can also use the, uh, the histogram to affect this as well if you go up here and you go to the timbre, you can actually use this to create chaos in the expression. So let's go ahead and play this and do that. Let's go to the pressure parameter. Just another simple example of why Bitwig Studio, its modulation possibilities, now you have note expression, as well as the note mod to modulate parameters in any third-party VST, and this is only version 1. Pretty amazing software. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, please comment, and we'll see you again next week.